the New Yankee Workshop. So that's where our epoxy system comes in. Epoxy is the coat of the epoxy. You don't need too much clamping pressure with epoxy. First, I mix up some epoxy with some epoxy. And now I'm mixing up another batch of epoxy. All right, more epoxy. And tack it in place with some epoxy. Now you'll notice that the epoxy makes the tape clear. Now I gotta move quickly before this epoxy sets up. Well, the epoxy is set up overnight. And then I put a coat of epoxy sealer on the entire hull. At this stage, the hull is ready for additional coats of epoxy. Now here I'm mixing another batch of epoxy with some filler in it. So by using an epoxy mix with a filler in it, I create sort of a cove. The New Yankee Workshop. Then I applied three coats of epoxy to everything, and this waterproofs the wood. Apply the epoxy. I'm covered with three coats of epoxy. That's why they're so shiny. Now I've sanded the epoxy because it's almost impossible to get a pencil mark to show up. Now the deck trim is attached with epoxy and fasten it with some screws and they'll hold it while the epoxy sets up. So I've just set a little bit of epoxy in each counter bore. Well overnight the epoxy has done its job and apply another coat of epoxy. I didn't apply any epoxy to the top of the deck panels. So now it appears that by applying three coats of epoxy first, that problem is eliminated. And while this epoxy coating dries, I don't want any dust to get on it. Now, all the epoxy coats that I put on the boat were done the same way. The epoxy is a little different than the one we used for bonding. It has a different hardener, which extends the life of the epoxy. Now, with the epoxy all rolled on, while the epoxy dries, let's start working on the rudder tiller assembly. Over here, I have two pieces of quarter-inch plywood that I've epoxied both sides so that I'll be able to glue the sandwich together with more epoxy later. So now that the epoxy has set up on the rudder, okay, now a little more epoxy to secure the handle. Now once this sets up, we'll seal the entire dagger board with at least three coats of epoxy. Now after the epoxy dried on the deck, this epoxy needs to be covered with either paint or varnished. 